So, uh, Lamar Mon here. Welcome to uh, In My Bag with Lamar Mon. Uh, it's uh, where I go through my bag and what's in it to help uh, those that are less fortunate um, maybe uh, turn around their fortune. Okay. So what I want to start with first of all is uh, the bag itself. Okay. This is an old bag, and I got this for about three four hundred dollars. Uh, a while ago, I, I was told that it's uh, Grips uh, first run, uh, and I, I just know that you know a lot of people collect stuff that has to do with disc golf, um, even if they you know people don't necessarily play it because it's such a huge sport. So I got that. I'll probably sell it later, but right now it's doing me good. Uh, I got this. Uh, this is called a Golden Retriever, and what that's used for is like if you get a disc. Um, that hits a rock or bangs the cement or something, then you can you can put it in here and kind of rub the sides and uh, and have your friend pull on it or something, and it works really well. And I just wanted to put this up here. This is the first disc golf trophy that I ever bought, and I just got that baby. Um, I got it at Restyle, which is a thrift store here in town. And yeah, I'm really proud of that. I can't wait to, to show my mom and all my fans. That's why I'm doing this for you guys. Okay, first trophy. All right, let's start with uh, what's really important to me and what helps my game out the most. Um, first of all, I want to go, when I'm, when I'm feeling pretty powerful, I like to use these for big hyzer shots. And it's called a, a, pole, a pole cat. And a pole cat is used for those big hyzer shots and if you're not sure what a hyzer is uh, you should probably watch some of my other videos before just you know jumping at this one because you'll fail the test so this you throw and it'll go it'll just fucking fight back just bam like every time you know you can try to flip it it won't flip uh... that's 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 a go-to disc for me and also i really i really don't think you could ever have enough valkyries i got one two three four, five, six Valkyries um, just because I, I, like to, I like to throw Valkyries a lot. And what Valkyries do is they fly. They fly when you throw them, kind of like a disc will fly, you know. Uh, but these I have a lot because DX plastic is really enjoyable to throw because they're consistent. Uh, you can bang them on trees as you see. Like I, I've gotten a lot of uh, soft tacos and um, hit trees and and uh, they, they just hold their shape. You can cut them up real well and it doesn't matter. Uh, but it just depends. If you like a lot of grooves around your hand, if you like the texture, um, then I recommend throwing these because then you can, you can kind of pick and, and choose which kind of uh, surface you want your hand to be touching. You know, I like, sometimes I like it to be crooked. Sometimes I like it to be softer, you know, but mostly crooked because, you know, I don't even care. I have tough hands. And anyway, uh, I got this out a while ago. It's just so if if like the weight of your disc uh, rubs off, you can sit that you can weigh it before you throw it. Like if it's windy, you can be really technical with one of these little truck wares, and it'll tell you. Yep, yeah, it's about a 170. These are really handy to have. And also, let's see what else we got in here. Uh, got some toilet paper. I I camp a lot. Sometimes in between games, I like to camp. And there's a lot of duck, duck crap at our local course, so you get some goof off. It, it'll really help remove the poop um, from your discs and your shoes and stuff. You can't have enough of that. It's really good. And let's see, as far as roller, roller, rollering discs, uh, I, I like to use this. It's a, uh, it's a see-through flick, flick. It's a see-through flick, and it. I mean, look at it. Great. Yeah, perfect. All right. And this is this is what I use for my goof off, little sponge. You know, and it's not so much the disc that you need to be thinking about when preparing to play a good game at disc golf. You got to be thinking about the elements and being prepared with like food and snacks and things that you need to really get through the game properly. You don't want to be out there being like, oh, there's poop on my shoe and I don't have anything to wipe it up with. That's irresponsible and it'll upset your friends. It's no good. Okay. All right. Next thing, I got this glove just in case it's rainy. I, I, if you're like me and you hate water, I hate water with a passion. So if it touches my disc, I, I'm going to be golfing with this on all day, which is really good. Uh, it's really grippy. 
and it helps it helps with the the the, the forward process and motion of your angles and your your accuracy when it comes to uh, wet stuff. Okay. All right. And moving on. Sometimes at the course, you know, you'll have like construction trees being cut down, which is really fucking annoying. If you got like a killer shot and you're like only a couple hundred feet away from your basket, and there's like somebody being like, oh. Oh, hard hat area only because we're cutting down trees in the middle of your fucking game, you know. It's lame. Because then, you, what if you, you what, are you going to add a stroke and take, pick your disc up? I don't think so. Carry a hard hat, especially if you have that problem. Problem solved. Hey, uh, construction workers, I can still shoot because I have the proper safety code com uh, according to OSHA or whoever, you know. So I like, <coughs> I like that. Also, I recommend this shit, bag training. You know, carry, carry a weight in your bag. Uh, on those hot summer days, you know, if you're carrying a weight in your bag and you're like, you know, keeping up with the pack, imagine if you took this out. You'd be way faster. So if you ever need to be a little faster, get some weight in your bag and then take it out when you need that, like, turbo boost, you know, of energy walking to your disc and beat everybody there, you know. Be the first to tee off. Even if it's not your turn, just because, hey, ready golf, right? I've heard that before, right? Ready golf. That's what this is all about. It's about, about being ready to golf, you know? So, yeah, I recommend those. Um, this one's about five pounds. It feels like four, though. No problem. Okay, let's see. I got this thing. You can fill it up with water and put it together. Uh, it's, it's, if you need to get your disc out of a tree, you fill it up with water. Uh, that way, you don't add any extra weight, because you've got to be careful. You've got to gauge your strength when carrying your bag and you know I don't really want to push it you know my body is my career so got to be really gentle and careful that's for sure alright moving on uh, it's always good to have uh, mid ranges and I, I like to use the short spikies uh, for the mid range um, oh, this is my knife just want to show you sometimes after my uh, YouTube videos came out I've had a lot of people stalking me and I, I carry this around just in case Somebody wants to throw like a water balloon at me or say something stupid like, hey, you, you know, and then I get pissed and then this will just take care of it right away. No problem, you know, no problem. These are for, uh, these are, I'm just, I'm starting to collect guns. I'm not really into politics, but it's pretty scary what's going on. So I've got these guns, I'm collecting those. Um, I've got, these are for mid-range. I like it. Uh, they're for uh, mid-range, or the more accurate term for these types of discs and throwing these is is fill fill center throws. And the fill center throws is like if you imagine like you've got your T pad here, and then you've got your basket over here, and then you throw in the middle. You don't want to throw like uh, an overstable magic or something, you know, because you don't want it to go way past the basket. So you want to throw something that's a uh, a, a fill shooter thrower thingy, and that's what these are for. So they go really straight and fly really good. And then you can uh, you can you know use those for little littler shots. You know that's what I do, and I like it, and it works really good for me. And then you got to have some throwaway discs. Um, you got to have some throwaway discs uh, for you know just if like say there's a big pond you know, or a tree or something in your, like a bunch of trees and you don't want to go looking forever and you just want to be like, well, hell Mary, I'm going to see if this shot works. Uh, this is something I just found at a course. It had somebody's name on it, but I, didn't, I don't know. I don't, I don't call people back because I, I get socially awkward really fast. So um, this thing is one of my throwaway discs. Uh, I've, I've tossed it. I'll probably end up just giving that to my dog. And then uh, this one I like to uh, it's also like a backup throwaway, just in case I'm like, oh man, look at that bridge, and there's a ton of water, and I'll just be like, whoosh, do you see that? You know, it was way far, because you're so high up. And, and that's pretty much what's in my bag. Granted, it changes every day, because sometimes I need, I need like my car keys and cell phone and whatever, and I'll put that in there. 